Hey everybody, it's Faze Ali for All Things Mobile, and today I'll be doing a quick unboxing and review of the Samsung HMX W300. Now, I'll take a look at the box. It really does look like a lot of the other Samsung camcorders we reviewed in the previous weeks. Same styling, it's got the features on the bottom, multi-proof, um, let's see if we can focus, multi-proof, full HD, BSI, F2.2, micro SD card, um, picture of it, model number, and here we've got the PC requirements, and just like the other ones, you can see at the second one, the bundled software is not designed to operate on a Mac PC, hmm, very interesting. Backside, we get some pictures, multi-proof, aqua mode, my clip, and some description of the features. Can't really see this one because it's all covered up. Um, and uh, we will open this up now. So this is actually the first uh, durable type camcorder I've I've actually been able to review. So we will check this out. We got a little card here, so waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof. There's aqua mode, one touch sharing button, and my clip. Let's put that to the side here. Some paperwork. This is, yeah, the warranty, I believe. Uh, yeah, registering your product. That's the French version. Uh, here is the English version because we're in Canada. And this is just some accessories uh, that you can purchase and whatnot. I just drew like a, a case and just an HDMI cable. Uh, this here is the actual uh, quick start guide, the actual paper manual, so to speak. Uh, you know, again, pretty pretty basic stuff. You could probably figure out most of the stuff on your own. This is the wrist strap. You guys all know how this attaches on. I'll demonstrate that for you guys a bit later. And here is the actual camcorder itself. This is the HMX W300 sports camcorder they call it I believe is what they're officially calling it it's uh yeah the sports cam so it's one of these uh like super durable camcorders and to be quite honest it looks a lot like a phone like at first impressions you can see that it really has um, like phone like resemblances so going around the device you've got your kind of like your d-pad which is the four directions and they do different functions when the camcorder is on. A button to switch from video to pictures. The pictures it takes are 5.5 megapixels and we'll tell you how I got that. And the video it records in 1080p and 720p. Uh, menu button, you know, same old, same old. One touch to share button there. Playback. Oh, and here are some of the specifications. So two meters. Uh, and that's 16.5 feet shockproof. Uh, I mean 6.5. Whoops, 6.5 feet and two meters. So that's the same. That, that's shockproof, and it's waterproof from five meters, which is the equivalent of 16.4 feet. And that's how much force it can withstand, or how durable it is, according to the official specs. Around the device, we see that we have a little banner thing that says Aqua Mode. This opens up to reveal your micro SD and HDMI. So we're gonna flip the switch. You'll see the yellow when we do that. And we've got a micro SD card in there. And there's your micro HDMI port. And you'll notice that there is a rubberized ring here. And it's just because when this closes down, that rubberized ring provides a very good seal. It, it provides a very a good seal. Oops, trying to get it to focus there. Okay, front of the device, full HD. You guys have, you guys know that now. On this side, you've got where it's just where it says shockproof, waterproof, and then the power button. And here's the place to put the to put this on. Bottom tripod mount, and what's really interesting is that this has its own flip out USB. So let's do that again open the latch and the USB flips out so the USB is just secured in by this blue latch and this just hits against it and when that happens it 
disengages and pops out. Uh, one thing to note here is that, again, you've got the rubberized uh, finish, right? Right, uh, you guys can probably see this better this way. Yeah, you got the rubberized finish. So, and this is just uh, like a standard tripod mount. So overall, it looks uh, pretty standard. The one thing I really don't like about it uh, this far is the backing here. On the back, there's no sort of protection on the lens. Uh, there isn't any type of like lens cover or anything like that. So that's something just to keep in mind. So we're gonna power it on. And you're gonna see that it really powers on fast and powers down fast as well. So power it off. That's it. Power on. Bam, you're you're there. So if we take a look at the menu functions, let's go into the camera mode first. And I'll show you how I figured this out. So when you go to the camera mode and you check photo resolution, you can check the, the last one here, the highest res, 2700 by uh, two, zero, 200, 2040. That's 5.5 megapixels. So that's how you. That's how we figured out this is a 5 megapixel camera. Uh, you can also shoot in different resolutions. This one down here is 3 megapixels. Uh, this one here is 2. This one's VGA, uh, 640 by 480. Uh, white balance. You've got smart filter. The backlight on or off. Let's turn that on. You can see that it's on, and that'll be off. On and yeah, you can see the backlight does make a difference. Face detection. You turn that on or off, anti-shake, that's the um, DIS, is the digital image stabilization, settings, so you can check the storage info, uh, you got a nice little pie chart, you can go back by pressing the back button here, oops, um, I meant uh, the exit button, where's the menu button, right here, menu button, menu button again, uh, so that's just your typical settings, for video out, you can see you can do an NTSC and PAL, back out here uh, PC software so these are all just you know typical um, styles so you've got a whole bunch of languages here looks like English Korean France German I think Italian Spanish Portuguese I don't know what that is that's looks like Ch Chinese probably that's Arabic might well, actually simplify Chinese um, anyway so go on Smart filter, uh, backlight, yeah, you guys have seen this. Uh, so, um, typical stuff in a Samsung camcorder, and I'll show you how quickly this shoots a uh, picture. So we're gonna go into picture mode, and we will take a quick picture of, uh, let's do this, let's take a picture of the box here. Since we don't have anything else to take a picture of. So, here's the box, here's the camera, we are just gonna take a picture and that was quick it it also if you notice it has autofocus so before i took the shot it did it did auto it did focus in and then it took the took the photo so uh that's pretty cool and you guys can see this again let's do it one more time it focuses and then instantly grabs the picture so if you go back to the playback button here and we press that we can see uh, the images that we've taken so uh, pretty neat you can see the, uh, the icon list here and we could just scroll through them left and right you've got the zoom functionality so you can zoom in also here's the one touch share button actually this is quite interesting uh, hang on uh, Uh, maybe I gotta zoom out here. So back, back. Oh, here's the options, and I believe you can. Oh. 
girls a one touch share button not sure where they had put that but odd anyways so backing in we'll check the video now so let's go back to video here uh, switch over to video and you can see that uh, here the settings are basically you know kind of quite similar we're going to go into this one the resolution uh, you can see that it shoots 1080p video at 30 frames per second and 720p 720 video at 30 frames per second so uh, that's pretty cool let's turn on 1080p and uh, let's back out here menu and let's check out the user interface so you can see that it shows uh, video camera night mode minutes remaining uh, uh, that's based on how much storage you have left on the card and here this is recording the recording um, symbol and then the, the how long it's been recording for you can press this button here to pause and you can see the recording is paused I can press it again to resume the recording and when the recording is paused you can see the pause logo come up here capture so I think these are uh, screen caps and um, what else is there in this menu? Uh, once you're done, uh, press OK to stop. It uh, you can go press this button again, just like any camera. You're, this is very familiar. And this does have a built-in speaker, so you can you can you can hear the audio from the video you've just recorded. So that's that. Let's uh, delete this file. Yes. Another neat thing that they have is aqua mode, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go back out, all the way out. So let's go to uh, video and let's go to aqua mode. So and now this is aqua mode. Basically, this is what you would be recording if you're underwater. So it's kind of neat that they include this type of mode. And Overall, what are my thoughts of this camcorder? Uh, first of all, it's a it's a durable camcorder. You can see that just by the uh, construction. Let's turn this off. You can see that from a construction, this uses a very um, very rugged construction. Here, the buttons here, you're not, you don't you don't have to worry about them getting damaged because they're covered in a layer of rubber. You can see the buttons here; they're just protruding, but they're not in the they're individual buttons, but they're very, they're just like nubs, really. Um, so it gives it a, it's a rubber overlay, which is very nice. Uh, also for the latches here, they're rubber, they're not rubberized, but they're, they have got a plastic and they've got the same texture here. When you open these up, you can see that there is a layer of rubber and that provides a tight seal here. Again, that rubberized finish continues to some of the sides here. And again on the bottom, you can see this latch is meant to be opened all the way. So they've done a they've done a good job of making sure this doesn't just break off very easily. USB just sits in there, and you know you've got the rubber, so it seals it from water. The the one thing I didn't like about this device was that the back lens here is not covered at all. So. This is something that's uh, that has the potential for getting scratched because I believe this is just a simple plastic. It's nothing. It's not. It's not a glass or anything like that. It's just plastic, so it can get scratched easier, uh, very easily, if you're not careful with it. Uh, and also, the battery is actually not user accessible. That's one thing I should have mentioned uh, in the beginning. You can't actually access the battery very easily. You gotta probably take these four. Uh, screws out and then access the battery but yeah so uh, just a quick recap this does record in 1080p it also records in 720p both of them in at 30 frames per second and that's progressive so it's not I it's 1080p not 1080i and 720p not 720i never actually heard of 720i though so uh, what else and that's about it it does feature uh, the stabilization and the backlight, which is kind of what Samsung's been putting in all of their new camcorders, the ones with this kind of box design, basically. 
Also, the screen here is 2.3 inches, just in case you're wondering. So, bottom line, should I get this? And I'm going to say that if you need a durable camcorder, and this one fits your budget and appeals to you, then by all means it's a good device, but just be wary of this getting scratched, so you might want to invest in a, in a case of sorts. And also, if you have a Mac, this is not going to work out very well, simply because the these uh, later Samsung cameras have haven't really been supporting the Mac OS at all lately actually as you guys can see from the boxes here the what's written here there's the software is not compatible for Mac right so it's strictly Windows based software and I would love to see them switch over and make the software compatible for Mac as well because that would just allow more people to be able to use the product without having too much of a hassle so this was a quick unboxing and review of the Samsung HMX W300 camcorder. I'm Faze LA for All Things Mobile, and I'll see you guys in the next video.